Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope everyone is staying home and safe in this COVID situation. First, let me introduce myself. I am Kajo Amit Hassan, student of Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Rajshahi University of Engineering and Technology, RUIT, presenting you our research work entitled ECG Heartbeat Classification Using Ensemble of Efficient Machine Learning Approaches on Imbalanced Dataset. The authors are Muhammad Atik Ahmed, myself Kajo Amit Hassan, Khan Fasi Manwar, Nofel Mashnur, and Muhammad Ali Hussain. So without any further delay, let's jump into the presentation. Well, these are the outlines of the whole presentation and I am going to discuss all the topics throughout my whole presentation. Well, now the introduction part. If we analyze our research title, then we will get three keywords, ECG, heartbeat and classification. Well, ECG or electrocardiogram is an established method for cardiac and other health related problems. On the right side, you can see uh, the visual differences in terms of signals between normal and abnormal ECG morphologies. Moving on. Now, what is ECG? Well, ECG is a diagnostic tool and ECG or electrocardiogram records electrical activity of heart while it's resting. Uh, ECG contains even information about heart rate and rhythm, and it shows if there's any kind of enlargement present in the heart or not. Now, the motivation. Well, the motivation means what, what drives us to work in this field. Well, ECG can identify various kinds of diseases like arrhythmias, myocardial, ischemia and infarction, pericarditis, chamber, hypertrophy, hyperkalemia, hypokalemia, drug toxicity, etc. And you can see also on the right side that other identified diseases by ECG. And this shows the importance of ECG and its classification. Now, there are some challenges in ECG classification like they are error prone, they have high bit to bit variability among the individuals and they suffer from high data imbalance issues. So, well, these are the previous works that have been done in this field and the red mark paper is our base paper. Moving on, the overall workflow. Well, this is the overall workflow of our proposed system and we're going to discuss about this workflow in the next slides. Now, here comes the data set description. Well, the data set consists of two heartbeat signals, the MIT BIH arrhythmia data set and the PTB diagnostic ECG data, data set. All the samples were cropped, downsampled, and paired with zero. If uh, we discussed our data set in detail, then the MIT BH, BIH arrhythmia data set has 1,9446 samples in total, and it has five classes or categories. N stands for normal, S means atrial premature, V means ventricular escape, and F, F means fusion of ventricular and normal, and last, Q means paste or unclassified. And on the other side, on the other side, in the PTB diagnostic ECG dataset, we have for 14,552 samples, we have two categories or classes, one is normal and the other is abnormal. And the, both the data sets were collected while keeping the sampling rate 125 hertz. Moving on. Well, in the data set description part, this is the visual difference between normal and abnormal data in our data set. In the next slide, well, as we have mentioned in our motivation part that they suffer from high data imbalance issue. So we, in, in this study, we also have used the data set which has the high data imbalance issue. And we have solved this by use, assigning class weights in our training. Well, now the data preprocessing part. The source data set was already cleaned and are in normalized form. For the MIT BIH heartbeat signal data set, the train and the test were separated while collecting from the original source. The training set contained 87,554 rows and the test set contains 
21,892 rows. The PTB diagnostic EC data set was separated into normal and abnormal data set. So concatenation was applied in them. The data set was shuffled and 20% of the data was selected for testing the model. Now the best methodology part. The best results were found with ANN with class weight on the MIT BIH dataset. And, and it's also compared with other state of art model in our research paper. For the PTB diagnostic dataset, the best results were achieved with ensemble approach. And in the ensemble approach, we have used the hard voting classifier in our re research to get the best accuracy. Now, the results section. These are the confusion matrix of our research. On the left side, we have the confusion matrix of PTB diagnostic dataset. And on the right side, we have confusion matrix of MIT PIH arrhythmia dataset. Now, this is the result section. Well, you can see that we can see that in our research was also compared with different uh, state of the art methods. Uh, in the left side, we have the table of PTB diagnostic data set and the best accuracy was achieved with NN with class words, which is 98.06. We also got very high accuracy with KNN decision tree SVM. And in the right side, you can see the MIT BIH dataset and the best accuracy precision and recall was achieved with ensemble approach. And these are also compared with other state of the art methods. Well, we have done some hyperparameter tuning. Uh, if I say in elaborate, then I can say that uh, the best parameters or the, the, or the best confusion matrix are achieved with K equal to three for MIT BIH arrhythmia dataset and k equal to one for PTB diagnosis data set. In terms of decision tree, the best confusion matrix was achieved at depth 21 for MIT BIH data set and at depth 43 for PTB data set. And in terms of SVM, we have used the grid search um, method and the best parameters were C equal to one and gamma equal to one. Now moving on. Now the future scopes. Well, we want to provide a web server of our method which can assist the specialist to classify the ECG signals effectively. And we want to apply our process on more data sets and more diseases. And in the conclusion part, we want to say that we want to propose a system that can distinguish the patients very effectively. It can assist specialists to determine the appropriate treatment. And our method achieved higher accuracy than other existing model which proves the efficiency of our model. Well, these are the differences that we have used in the slides. Thank you everyone for staying with me and any kind of questions are welcomed.